just wrapping up another day in the wood yard. I got a delivery to do. <clears throat> the road is so rough. Anyway, it's uh, about 3.30 in the afternoon, something like that. And um, gonna be done for the day. Uh, didn't get a lot of sleep last night. This is my third cord processed and delivered today. I've only got to go about 10 minutes from here, but it's, there's a vicious, vicious construction site to go through. They've got about uh, three kilometers of one lane through uh, Western Shore. They're putting all new culverts in, I think for a septic or something. I don't know. It's uh, Anyway, where I've got to turn off is on a private road, um, which doesn't have a flagman on it. So I might have to wait two or three, at least two or three turns in order to get out onto the get back into the main road again so anyway it's a pain in the bum but I'm just about done so I have to think about it here very soon um, I'm just about out of dry wood for this year and you know I still get calls this is the 20th of October 2022 if you're looking at this in the future I still get calls every day every day for wood for this year in October. We've already had a fire on. We've already got our winter's wood secured, long secured. So I'm not exactly sure if people are just not organized or short on money maybe. Or maybe they buy a house and they didn't realize how much wood they were going to have. I'm not sure. Or they thought it was just like a commodity that you could just call an order and have it delivered. But I start making orders anytime now for next year. Usually after September 30th, I don't promise that I can get dry wood for the, for the same year. I end up, uh, well, I, I would guarantee dry wood up to September 30th. After that, I would call it wood for next year, next season. There's all kinds of theories about when to cut wood. Um, the best time to cut wood is in, in the winter, late winter, early spring, up to about Oh, two or three weeks, four weeks before the leaves start to bud out on the trees. And that's the driest the wood will be. And after that, the a book that I'm reading now that my friend Mick just gave me, you, you lose about 10% moisture in that time of year. And after the leaves start coming on, it's 10% more, 10 more water in it, so more sap. So that ends up being uh, up to about 45 47 percent according to my moisture meter so you can cut a tree once the leaves are on it and leave it lay in the woods with the leaves on it for a few weeks and the leaves will continue to live and suck the moisture out of that tree and that will be an amazing way to dry your wood you can bring it home in the summer cut it and split it right away and you're able pretty much able guaranteed that you can burn that fairly dry that same year so and that will give you uh oh under 20 percent moisture on that so so anyway i'm not reprimanding people that don't know matter of fact i'm all about educating people there was the first culvert that they changed a big pile of dirt in the middle of the road i'm not reprimanding anybody um, i'd like to educate people of when to buy wood and when i say i want to people to order their wood early that doesn't mean they have to pay for it what it does is it allows me to uh, get an inventory ahead. And that allows me, so if I've got orders for about 150 cords of wood or so, uh, which is not unusual, I'd have all those orders by, say, June or July, and that's how much wood I'll order from my supplier. And then I'll always add another two or three tractor trailer loads, so another up to 50 cords extra and that will be for new customers or people that buy maybe an extra cord or somebody that buys late in the year, I'll try to have some. And also try to give some away as well. I will never see anybody go cold if that's possible. I want to be a good steward for of what God has given me. If he's blessed me so well, I just try to be a blessing to others if I can. And uh, that's not a pat on my own back. That's just giving away what I what I have. I don't, I don't mind it at all. Anyway, I don't need to go on and on about uh, about people not ordering wood, I guess. But my wood is uh, in my woodshed for well over a month now. And it's last year's wood. And it's good and it's dry. And 
I haven't got, uh, I don't have to worry about it. But I think there is going to be a, a winter storm coming. I don't mean weather-wise. I mean a, a fuel price-wise that if you're heating with oil or propane or electricity, I think it's going to be a hard winter. I think you're in for a rude awakening. And uh, I, I pity those that only have oil or only have electricity. So, and did you know that in Norway, it's mandated by law that you have a backup wood heat source? And uh, I think that should be something that's that's implemented here. I think that's that's wise. Or maybe a backup propane source or something, something. But I know that's not practical in uh, big urban centers, but where I live, it's no issue at all. So this is the construction zone I was telling you about. And this is where I live. This is the body of water from Home Bay. Oak Island show was filmed.